Hello everyone, I'm Devin Coombs and welcome to Business Core Tutoring. Today I will cover question 11 on our series regarding statistics. So let's begin. Question reads, the manufacturer of Anthony Biggs exercise equipment is interested in the relationship between the number of months X since the equipment was purchased by a customer and the number of hours Y the customer used the equipment last week. The result was a regression equation Y equals 12.12 12 minus 0.5X. The number 0.5 in the equation means that the average customer A. Used the equipment for 30 minutes last week B. Who had owned the equipment an extra month used the equipment 30 minutes less last week than the average customer who had owned it one month less C. Who just bought the equipment had used it 30 minutes last week D. Bought the equipment one half month ago or E. None of the above So what we're trying to determine here is what this regression equation means and specifically what 0.5 means in the regression equation so this is a fantastic question because you, as a student uh, in a business program, should really understand every aspect of the regression equation. So let's dive into it. So first, let's figure out what Y means. Y is the number of hours the customer used the equipment last week. So that's what we're trying to determine from this regression equation. So we know that the numbers are going to be solved in the number of hours. So we're in hours, so that really helps us out a lot. So 12 here will be hours, um, and this will be our y-intercept, right, uh, when x equals 0, minus 0.5x. So what is this 0.5x? x is the number of months since the equipment was purchased by a customer. So this is an inverse relationship. So we're seeing that over time, after you purchase that new fancy piece of equipment, you're slowly using it less because when you purchase a piece of equipment, you're going to work out all the time. You feel really determined. It happens to me all the time. And then over time, a year or two years later, you stop using the piece of equipment because you get lazy or you forget about it or it gets rusty. So over time, you're going to use the equipment less. So now we understand what this all means, but we have to hone in on what 0.5 in the equation means. So 0.5 uh, is really what we're trying to hone in on. So that's why I'm circling this or boxing it with my mouse. So let's dive into the questions, or the answers, if you will. Uh, so does it mean you use the equipment for 30 minutes last week? No, it doesn't. That would be right. The 30 minutes is right because it's half an hour, but it does not mean that they use the equipment for 30 minutes last week. Um, B, who has owned the equipment an extra month, used the equipment 30 minutes less last week than the average customer who had owned it one month less. So this is going to be your correct answer. It's going to be your correct answer because it's telling you exactly what 0.5 means in this equation. So for every extra month, use the equipment. Uh, the customer will use the equipment 30 minutes less than the week previous. Uh, so you are going to slowly, like we said, and like we determined from our original analysis of the question, the whole point of this equation is that there's this inverse relationship where you're using it 30 minutes less every period, so every x. So this b explains that, and it's the only answer that explains that. So b is correct, but let's look why the rest of the answers are wrong. C, who just bought the equipment, used it 30 minutes last week. That wouldn't be correct even if we solve this, and um, I think this is too broad as well. If you just bought it, it would be 12 hours because you plug in x for 0, it would be the y-intercept. So c is not correct. D bought the equipment one half month ago. Uh, that just has nothing to do with hours or minutes, so this is just at, just on its face wrong. And then E, none of the, the above, we already know it's not that. So the answer is B. How do we find that answer? We look through the information, we try to figure out what the equation actually means, and then this was the only apparent answer to our interpretation of the information. So let's refresh what we did here. We looked at all this information, and we interpreted and derived facts from this information. So when you're looking at any question, make sure you understand what it's asking and make sure you're able to pull and analyze information from a set of facts. So again, we this is what we covered today, question 11 in our statistics series. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, Business Core Tutoring. Uh, if you have any questions, please write on my Twitter or write in the comments below. And I hope you enjoyed this video and have a wonderful day. Bye.